shrimp and fucking salmon. Cancel the whole alarm. Medication. Does, will this even make sense? The gremlins. This is what we're working with. Oh my God, is Chloe about to throw up? This guy's about to take a nap. Good morning, everyone. Today, we are headed back to El Paso, leaving Houston, Texas. I've been out here for a week, so I'm headed back. I'm honestly so excited to get back. We now have a 10-hour road trip ahead of us. If you would have asked me last night, what time are you gonna wake up and start your road trip? I'm like, oh, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Like, I wanna get up on the road and get my coffee and just go ahead and get it over with. My alarm goes off at 5.45. I promptly get out of bed, cancel the whole alarm, and I continue to sleep until 10 a.m. It is currently 10.30 a.m. Who I was last night when I set the alarm is not who I was when I woke up. I am wearing a bodysuit. This is my favorite fit to travel in. Like, I've been to the airport in this exact fucking bodysuit four times. I don't even know if it's right that I pack and leave with this. <laughs> is this, even, does, will this even make sense? This is paper fucking thin. I feel like I have an emotional connection to my moisturizer and I think I can get a little bit more out of it. There we go. See, I have another week's worth of supply in here. Yeah, you're coming home with me. You're coming home with me. I look dead. So we're gonna put some lashes on. Send me the sponsorship. Fuck it, we're doing a we're doing a quick beat. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Huh? Huh? Well, I do need to get a lighter foundation because I do look orange right now. I might end up wiping all this off though. I'm not gonna lie. Let's act like this never happened. Execution was mid. Let's try all that again. A little bit more of my speed for where I am right now. The camera's really fucking throwing me off right now. It literally. Because it looks so patchy over there. So I know the camera adds 10 pounds, but does it add bad makeup? <laughs> Let me just back up. Maybe I'm too close. Maybe I'm too close. Take a fucking step. Y'all take, y'all back up. Y'all gotta back the fuck up. Because I'm getting in my head. Wait, it's already done. Okay, let's get, let's get, pat, let's get the fuck out of here. We are ready to get the fuck out of here. My heavy ass camera bag on my back. Got the whole city on my back. Whole setup on my back. Yeah. Check me out. Check me out. Y'all too close. You can't see nothing. Back the fuck up. Um. Ooh. I don't think I swept the living room as well as I thought. Uh, this is my mom's apartment. BT dubs. And I'm already, I can already hear her. When you know your parents, can't you just hear them? <laughs> can't you just hear it? I'm looking at the floor. As I'm taking a step back, I'm like. I feel like this is gonna be a text or a call. Like not doing the most, but like on some like, oh, didn't get to the floors type shit. Like on some sassy shit. I'm not even trying to hear that, bro. I don't even wanna hear it, bro. It's better to just avoid it entirely 100% than to even take the risk. Let's just, fuck it. <laughs> I swept at night, so I really couldn't see as much as I could see now. One second. <sighs> Where was I? Here's the stack. For today, check me out. The main suitcase on the bottom. Oh, I got this from like fucking Ross. Super solid, we got the four wheel drive. We got the compartment that expands. The handle, it's cute little color. It's 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Solid, sturdy. The bag is holding mainly like my running shoes, my tennis shoes, like makeup bag, skincare bag, water, purse straight from Ghana. <laughs> Oh, we gotta drop that in there. Jacket in case we get cold. Okay, this is what we're working with. About to head out the door, it is 11.30. Okay, we are officially in the car and ready to go. First things first, I have to get breakfast by myself because after I get these dogs, I it's me and the dogs locked in and every other meal I will have with them in the car. So it's my last solo meal of the day. I'm going to Chick-fil-A, whatever. I did just start eating chicken again, so I haven't had Chick-fil-A chicken in years. In years, for real. Just like to speak on that a little bit, I've been a pescatarian or a vegetarian for like the last four years, four or five years. I get my meals delivered to me through Factor. Like I do not do a lot of cooking. I don't enjoy cooking, so I do not choose to do it. So Factor sends me meal preps. The meal prep options I have are only fish and they do offer fish, but they only offer shrimp and salmon. That's it, shrimp and salmon. 
That's it. That's all you're ever going to get. Don't think that cod or tuna or trout or anything else is on the way. It's shrimp and salmon. <laughs> okay? So get real used to shrimp and fucking salmon. And I was getting to the point where if I saw shrimp or fucking salmon again in one of those boxes, I was going to flip shit. So I added chicken back to my diet so that I could start ordering more meals factor they have hella chicken options and then i can also add more protein to my diet because i'm really looking to build a i'm looking i'm looking to build something this summer that that's going to require a lot of protein a lot of muscle strength and a lot of work we're going to get into that in a different video though this camera setup is actually fire honestly i, I have y'all right now sitting on my dashboard i'm gonna take a picture <laughs> i'm actually gonna take a picture of how y'all are up here right now Jeez. This is how y'all are up there right now. <laughs> On my wallet. <laughs> Literally, people be like, I need a tripod, I need a tripod, I can't do it, I ain't got no tripod. Come on now. What? You make the tripod, you are the tripod. What are you talking about? Can never catch me lacking even when I'm lacking. <laughs> we have just made it to Chick-fil-A. It is actually April 14th, Sunday. <laughs> it is a sunday and i had asked my dad if he wanted anything as i was on the way he sent me what he wanted and i was like ah i pulled up i said ah it's sunday and he's like right he said dang i wish i could have been the one to point that out <laughs> so i am at black rock coffee bar i already have my coffee i thought i was gonna wait until i got in the car to like taste it with y'all already sucked down a quarter of it Absolutely delicious. I literally was in there. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is really a good drink. So this is the ice jackhammer. I got it extra sweet. Um, so that may have a very, very large effect on it. Anyways, now officially going to grab the gremlins. We officially have the kids in the car. So for those of y'all who don't know, this is my daughter. This is Bunny, little rescue ting. I've had her for like seven, eight months. She's super sweet, a Siberian husky. Coda just sat down. He is on anti-anxiety medication because he does not like road trips. It is 1.30. We are 10 hours and 13 minutes away. Our current ETA is 11.51. It's time to start chopping this motherfucker down. I also have to chug this entire drink. I have to finish this because it's an open top. And with the amount of hair, I have to keep the air on high and they shed a lot their hair be going everywhere just be blowing around so i honestly just have to finish all of this before there's even a chance for it to be infiltrated with husky fur or can i just i can actually tuck a napkin around it because i don't feel like chugging it right now i don't feel like i never feel like chugging anything i feel like chugging is not the most effective way to enjoy any beverage oh and coda just got a my my son got coda when i was 19. he's the reason i feel like even though I did skip teen pregnancy, I did not miss out on any part of teen parenthood. Raising Coda Jackson was quite, quite the task. He was a very rambunctious little puppy. Really likes to act the ass sometimes. <laughs> Say I like to act the ass sometimes. Say sometimes I just like to act the ass. This guy's about to take a nap. Oh, this guy's about to take a nap. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we've officially made our first like stop. I had to go to the bathroom and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up. Stopped at the gas station, eight hours left. Walking back to the car, shit you not, shit you not. Walking back to the car. There's a little boy in the back of the car with his door open, curly head, has to be 12 years old. Kid you fucking not. Leans out his door, he's like, hey, do you think it's possible I can get your number? You are visibly 12 years old. Like, what? Is this this fucking setup? These niggas trying to get me on predators? What are you, what, what adult in the car is letting you talk? Get, 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 get on the fucking road. You are in the back seat. Please get on the road. You can't even hold a permit in this state. Who's driving this car right now? I have a formal complaint I want to lodge against you and what you just said. Get in the car. Get in the fucking car. Anyway, I found an amazing documentary to watch. I love a good docu. Mm -hmm. If you ever heard the hill song United Church, they were making stupid bread. I'm watching on HBO Max. I think we're making good time. I should realistically get something to eat while I'm here so I don't have to make another stop. Bunny, bunny, look at her back there. Bunny! They only have a subway over here though. I'm not 
terribly interested in that. I'll talk to y'all later. Mwah. Okay, here we are, almost exactly an hour later. I have to go to the bathroom again. I've finished my entire Stanley of water, so I am pumped full of liquids. I, in this two hour road trip, have still not allowed a single ounce of solid food to enter my bodily system, so I will be getting some food in here. We stopped at Love's truck stop because not only is there a bathroom, there's also a little dog park, so I'm gonna let them go out, go to the bathroom, take advantage of the time. They've been cool. It's only when they stop, like as soon as they feel like the car slowing down, they feel they're getting up there. Oh, are we stopping? Like, what's about to happen? Like, are we getting out of the car? What's going on? So, Bunny immediately knew what the deal was. She's immediately getting up and in my face. Now she's barking at people. As you see, a construction man's walking by, doing his own thing, minding his own business, literally doing his fucking job. And she's over here worried about his business, you know? So, I'm going to the bathroom right quick. I'm gonna get some food. Then I'm gonna take them to the dog park. And then we're on the road, road, you know? We have a full tank of gas. We have no reason to stop again until we literally need gas. Until we literally need gas. Everybody in the car. I also have a Topo Chico. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. But that's what happens when you're all up in my space. Um, But I literally have a whole set of Topo Chicos literally right behind my seat. A little bit of sparkling, a little sparkling something. <laughs> I have to pee so bad, I'm literally bouncing in place. So yeah, we're about to do that and then we're back on the road. This is the dog park in question. Well, they've already made their first piss. Lovely, Coda's getting some sniffs in over there. Dude, I would love to see a number two out of both of them. So then we don't have to worry about a stop again. Oh my God, is Coda about to throw up? <gasps> Coda! Oh, it's okay, it's okay. What's going on? Did you eat something? Oh, he keeps moving. He, after that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and get him back in the car. We're back in the vehicle. I also gotta look with my little bottle opener. Chubbo, Chubbo Chico, drop a sponsorship. Bruh. Then the bottle cap flew right between the seat. Right between the seat. I've never been so blown in such a short period of time. Still have eight hours left. It is four in the afternoon. I have not had anything to eat. We're going to Whataburger. Of course, it is 24 minutes away. We've officially added the stop. I am locking in. Still watching Hillsong um, documentary, uncovering all the lies. We're just now getting into the financial abuse, which is my favorite fucking part about mega churches is like how much money they're making and like how much money they're spending to maintain the beautiful, luxurious lifestyle. We're with the gang. Is this the gang? Mm -hmm. Coming at you live from the middle of fucking nowhere. We're in Seguin. Seguin. S-E-G-U-I-N. Have not had Chick-fil-A. Not Chick-fil-A. Whataburger chicken strips in years for real. Whataburger was actually my first job. We're moving. We're moving. Mwah. Quick bathroom break. Shout out Taco. Whatever taco spot I just ran into. Shout out to you for being like literally right off the highway. Ran in, got my business done. We're back on the road. Let's get it. I'm honestly just gonna stop saying that we're not taking any more breaks because every time I single, every time I say that, there's another reason for a break. So I'm on the road. I'm driving. Things are going great. We're making more progress. Love it. Love it. Love it. I start yawning. I start fucking yawning. I'm like, oh. Ah. You forget that like energy is a very important part of this whole process. Like staying the fuck awake. Going here, give me a little five hour energy like a truck driver would. As I was in there, I was in line. Someone who had seen me, I was like, oh, beautiful dogs. Beautiful dogs. I was like, oh, thank you. And the woman in front of me, they're like, oh, where are your dogs? Immediately they turned around. I said, oh, they're in the car right there. You can see them right there. And I said, oh, huskies, they so much fur, huh? I said, oh my God, you don't know the half of it. And mind you, I'm a yapper naturally, but if you want to talk about dogs, like we could talk about dogs anyways. I love talking about my dogs. So turns out they're actually both groomers. So now we're talking about, the, oh, what dog do you have? And the, ah, how long have you been grooming? Turns out her mom started grooming like 19 something. She started grooming in 2002, but she took over the family business and da, 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 da. her friends are groomer too. Blah blah blah. Nice little combo. Um, so yeah, we have the five hour energy extra strength. Pinkies up. Cheers to wrapping this road trip the fuck up. I also got more miles. So we have 420 miles. Shout out 420. We have 490 miles left on the trip. So we still are inevitably gonna have to do another stop. But at this point, like this uh, one one stop, two stop, three stop, four five stop six stop seven stop more like at this i i it, who gives a fuck about the stops at this point i've stopped every 30 minutes it feels like i feel like i'm running in place right now yeah yep Woo. 
Woo! The, the video I'm gonna watch next, again on HBO Max, is Love Has Won, The Cult of Mother God. I'm telling you, I love a good cult. Like, oh, how'd you get in? Because people that are in cults, they be full on, they literally leave their any life they had before to follow whatever the cult says. They're like, oh, like, you don't believe the cult? Like, cool, I'm not talking to you, mom. I'm not talking to you, dad. I'm gonna give this cult my money. I'm gonna move. I'm just, it's like always like a crazy concept. I, six more hours left. We are on a straightaway right now and the lighting is going crazy. I'm watching this cult documentary and I've watched like multiple cult documentaries because it always just amazes me how undeniably simple it is to start a cult. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the kind of video where it's like the cult is exposed and there are a bunch of people that are in the cult that are coming out like oh my god I can't believe I was a part of this. No. They are interviewing cult members that are still to this day like no like this was god like this was mother god it turns out she was like on ecstasy one day and like, she was just always like hella drugged up like on something she was literally always intoxicated in some way but yeah anyways i'm gonna wrap it up the dogs are sleeping so i'll be back when i finish currently pulled over had to stop and go to the bathroom like i kid you not for the last 60 miles nothing is around it's, at least it's dark so like there's like no worry of like cars coming and seeing me like literally half naked on the side of the road uh, however though there were so many stars in the sky would you believe that we still have like four hours to go lock the fuck in just made our like second to last stop because i know i'm gonna get food as soon as i get closer to el paso we are about an hour and 41 minutes away eta is 12 26 it is 11 45 right now i am currently watching um, a series called the crime of the century about the opioid crisis in no weird way the opioid crisis is like my Roman Empire because like no matter how much I learn about the facts the information the people involved the people affected I still cannot grasp that this actually happened and I feel like it's just not discussed enough for the amount of people it affected in a nutshell oxycotton was invented by the Sackler family Purdue Pharma as like a drug for end of life cancer patients like they start marketing expert level marketing expert level marketing the largest pharmaceutical marketing campaign in america they start marketing opioids to anybody with any pain period and these people's lives are getting ruined they're bribing people in the fda to get it fda approved it is literally the crime of the century and the fact that so many people and companies walked away scot-free while individuals lives to this day are ruined insane let's get back on the road deuces bye honey butter chicken biscuit with meal meal i'm sorry Growing up in Texas, honey butter chicken biscuit was a a movement in our city. After a football game, you go to you go to Whataburger, everybody pulls up. It, they only serve it for breakfast. Breakfast starts at Whataburger after 11 p.m. and it ends like 11 a.m. So from 11 to 11, you can get a honey butter chicken biscuit. Whataburger is 24 hours. We would literally drop everything we were doing, go to the nearest Whataburger and grab a honey butter chicken biscuit. It is a chicken strip with honey butter on a biscuit. I mean, it's a honey butter chicken fucking biscuit. We are literally 11 minutes from the crib. I'm gonna get this last little meal and then we are home fucking free. There's a trash can right outside this window. Oh, brother, uh, this guy stinks! Now I do. I hate littering so much that if I would've left it on the floor, now I'm a hypocrite. Like, my windshield is actually disgusting the amount of bugs i have annihilated on this glass today and on the front of my car i am a mass i am a mass insect murderer thank you, thank you. <sighs> wow. still delicious still a slap i will admit in the past, we would always get these after a mean hot box. So we would be like, we'd be in this bitch doing, mm, my God. And we would literally do what I just did, like pull up in the closest parking spot, eat them. And there'd be times where we spin the block right then and there and go get some more. Like we just go back to the drive through like, bro, can we like, run that shit right back? Like four honey butter chicken biscuits, nigga. We're gonna get up out of here.
We have finally made it. I go to throw something away. I didn't even take the trash out before I fucking left. Trash smells so fucking bad. It smelled absolutely terrible. And not only did I not take the trash out, I didn't even finish washing the dishes in the sink. I'm like, nigga, did you just get up, lock the door, and leave? Came home to no murderers in the house, which is a great sign to me. If you've watched this far, thank you for locking in with me. If it's your first time here, make sure it's not your last time here. Subscribe below. Mwah! Thanks for watching.